Hi, if this is your first time watching, welcome. My name is Shantae and I share tips on digital marketing and ways to grow businesses and bottom lines online. Research. Whether for school or business or even pleasure, you've likely researched something or many, many things. If you're online, then you're probably well-versed at researching using the Google machine. You may even be well-versed in using advanced search and filters. Today, we want to give you a few more options you may not be familiar with, but will take your Google research game to the next level and help you create compelling and complete content. If you like any of these, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I post videos every Thursday. Let's get to it. Number one, maximize autocomplete. Okay, this is kind of a gimme, but just want to emphasize why this is important. If you're not familiar with autocomplete, when you start typing in the search bar, you may notice Google starts to read your mind, or at least tries to. What Google is doing is populating the bar with possible terms you can use that are related to the terms you're typing in. And this is a source of information that will serve your research strategy because it's based on Google's user-driven data. Google says predictions are made based on factors, like the popularity and freshness of search terms. Search predictions come from, one, the terms you're typing, obviously. Two, relevant searches you've done in the past, namely if you're signed into your Google account and have web and app activity turned on. And three, what other people are searching for, including trending stories. Trending stories are popular topics in your area that change throughout the day. They aren't related to your search history, but if you're looking to research the most relevant stories, this is the place to start. So boom, relevant user-driven data brought right to you. Just type in a few starter words and let autocomplete get you started. Number two, use Google Scholar. By definition, Google Scholar is a free accessible web search engine that indexes the full text or metadata of scholarly literature across an array of publishing formats and disciplines. Go to scholar.google.com and you can search by article, including or not including patents or case law. If you select case law, you can then select federal courts and state specific courts. Click on select courts and you'll see all the various courts from Supreme Court, Court of Claims, Court of Customs and Patent Appeals to any circuit in the US. Number three, site specific search. This is a powerful way to search any website out there and particularly useful when you're looking for a specific term on a website, reaping far better gains than using the website search bar. Here's how you do it. Simply type site, colon, the domain you wanna search, space, and then keywords. For example, if you wanna search a site for all the content produced by a certain author, I type in site, 97thfloor.com, and Shantae. This is especially helpful if you're researching a .org, a .edu, or a .gov site. Number four, narrowing your options. Now that you know how to do a power search of a website, here's a way to narrow your options to only the most relevant. Add in additional cues for Google in quotations. For example, add all in text when searching for a group of words together and date range to find information from a specific date. Number five, symbols. Finally, take it up to the ultimate level by adding in the appropriate symbol to your search query. Use the hyphen to narrow results with words that have multiple meanings. For example, when you're searching for the animal cat and you don't want info about the bulldozing company. Plus, to include words, tilde to include synonyms, asterisk for fill in the blank. Example of this would be Glasgow is the asterisk capital of Europe. Quotations to look up a complete sentence. Mashable put together a great infographic called Tips and Tricks for Students Conducting Online Research. I'll leave a link in the description box below. It's a great resource to have on hand, especially as you're getting started in your power searching. And for more on becoming an expert on any topic fast, head on over to 97thfloor.com and read this article, 20 Minutes to Expert, How to Perform Reliable Content Research When Time Isn't on Your Side. I'll leave a link to that article below. That's it, five things for getting the most out of Google search. Until next time.